Clipping is a common issue in games, and there are many ways of fixing it. The one I will be showing you today uses a shader generously provided by Chef Games. If you find this helpful, please subscribe, so let's slide in. So this is basically what clipping is, where one object passes through another one, and we don't want this, we want the weapon to always be in front of other things. and. We still want it to be affected by shadows and this is basically the easiest method that I've found to fixing this problem. So let's get into it. So if I select my rifle model in my player scene and I right click on it and do editable children, when I hit the drop down arrow I will get a node and it's a mesh instance. In my case it's called rifle, I'm gonna open the mesh up and if I drag this out a little bit so it's easier to see, I have my two materials. I can't change anything on them right now. And to be able to change them, I need to hit the drop down arrow and make unique. And now I can change them. You can also do make unique recursively. This will make all the children or should make them unique. It doesn't make the materials unique. So you'll have to do that on them as well. So just make unique and make unique. And then you hit the drop down arrow on them and you want to convert them to a shader material. And that will change the little icon on them. Do that for both of them. So convert to shader material. And when we open them up, we have to drag a shader onto them. We can't make a new shader on it. So we can just go to the next pass and hit the drop down arrow. And we can just make a new shader material. Open that up and we can make a new shader. I'm going to call this clipping. It doesn't really matter what you call it. And in the description you'll be able to find the shader code. So I'm gonna paste it in here. And I'm gonna search for clipping. And we don't want it on the next pass. This was just to make the shader. So we can clear this. Now we can just drag it onto the actual material. So I'm gonna drag it onto the wood. And onto the metal. And now it looks just as before. But with a shader applied. If I now run my scene again. And if I head over to the planks, which it was very visible, and I try to clip with them again, it's not gonna clip since it's rendered in front of the other meshes. Thanks for watching and special thanks to the Kofi members for making this video possible. If you want to support my work and have your name be featured in future videos, check out my Kofi in the description and I'll see you in the next one.